Nigerians, including prominent politicians, have been expressing their opinions about the presidential candidates and their performance while holding office in the past as the general, general 2023 presidential election in Nigeria is set to begin in the coming days. Based on this note, Yahya Mohammed, the chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, took, to, took on Peter Gregory Obi, the former governor of Anambra State and presidential candidate for the Labour Party during a discussion with a northern rally of the Labour Party during a session of Africa Independent Television's Democracy Today. Yaya Mohammed, an active member of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council in Niger State, argued that if Peter Obi truly had the ability to lift Nigerians out of poverty as is widely believed, he, he should have demonstrated this by the number of people who became multi-millionaires as he was the governor of Anambra State. He added that even after eight years of governor, there are still many people in Anambra State. There are still many poor people in Anambra State. He allegedly said, I think Malam Ibrahim has just finished my job for me. According to Yaya Muhammad, since he neglected to mention that his candidate serve as governor of Anambra, he implied that Nigerians had suffered due to lack of leadership. How many millionaires do they have in the state? Why couldn't he resolve every issue in Anambra where there are many poor people? The problem is that you claim that Nigeria has a lot of resources. So why couldn't you why couldn't your candidate a governor use them? In fact, there are even claims that while he was there, he plotted to create identity cards for northerners who were residing in the state. Hmm. All these people, eh? it is propaganda they breathe, they live on. This issue of a northerner uh, being northerners being told to have an ID card. Somebody even from a northerner who was in the state as at that time has come to debunk it, but they will keep on saying it until it will get to all those. People who could not even read and write, all those they are majorities. That is what they will be running with. It has been debunked many times. These are just lies. He's talking about uh, poor people and what have you. So what and what uh, Buhari has done? I think the, the the reason why they are just doing it is because of the popularity of Petabi. Uh, if you are this, why not this? If you are this, why not this? The Buhari that said uh, they talked about now he has plunged people into more poverty. Uh, I just believe that uh, people need to start debunking all these people's claims before because we know we have a lot of people with uh, different sentiments and a lot of illiterate. Once they have been told anything, they just to take everything, hook, line, and sinker. And that is it. Because I see no reason why at this age and time people are still talking. All these politicians, I just believe that they are being mischievous. When somebody has come out to say nothing of such happened in the state. And they keep on repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. See APC coming out to tell us that, uh, oh, it's not as if they don't know the drug case concerning Peter B, but they just, they, they just choose not to talk about it. Like, seriously? <laughs> you think uh, this government will have something like that? Or oh, information about Peter B, and they will be looking at him. <laughs> Somebody that they're looking for way, ways to clear. So, they are just uh, being mischievous. Unfortunately, the majority of the people always fall for their antics. Fact check, Anambra State has the highest number of billionaires in Nigeria. Go and verify. Not only highest billionaire and also highest where to do families in Nigeria. I think people from Anambra State are coming up to say what this politician said is, is arrant rubbish. They just like to talk trash without actually being informed. Anambra have the highest individual in Nigeria the richest individual in Nigeria, they can go and verify. Is there a place in the world where there are no poor people? Most of our leaders have been from the north, northern Nigeria, yet they have more people, more poor people there, mental, physical, social, economical, and so on. That is the brain of an average Nigerian politician. Very unfortunate. Okay, look at this man, see what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, must, must you talk? Okay, see the insults you are blessed with. <laughs> yeah, Mohammed is shameless without a functioning brain. Who is this one? 
some people are just terrible when someone is talking about the collective good of the people someone is implying that he stash money in the hands of individuals and make them millionaires go and study utilitarianism and aspects of theology that is your own opinion fortunately Lagos state has more pe- more poor people than anambra go and verify now we can see that here and there so peter b being a governor for eight years we make everybody in anambra rich right i pity your sense of reasoning everybody is talking so this uh, man wants to talk as well hmm. okay wants to talk to <laughs> who be this one where you come from who be your hey, father are there not poor people in the usa even the rich have poor around them what is this noise about or is lagos free of poor people doesn't america have poor people or doesn't your in local lagos have poor people bigotry is a disease where bigotry thrives, sane people become insane with insane logics and baseless arguments that owes no water. With bigotry, educated becomes illiterate by supporting dementia and defending the defenseless to rule over them. Mm. Highest number of presidents in Nigeria are from the north. Yes, they have 90, 90% poor people in the zone including Buhari and Erufai because they are very poor in terms of economy, security and their peoples in the north, of their people in the north. All the mansion houses in Lagos built by Igos. Yaya Mohammed has mental problem. Buhari and his APC was the, uh, was the president of Nigeria for eight years, but I can't afford to pay my house bill. Even I can't even travel as before because of insecurity can you enrich all the people in your state as a governor even if you are to rule for 50 years come on let's be real and who in the history of niger was able to lift everyone out of poverty one can only reduce it to the barest minimum but that is not what we are experiencing in this apc government a lot of people are falling into the poverty line Anambra State has the smallest poverty rate in Nigeria. What are you talking about? Poor people know the America. America, Dubai, best country in the world. Even in your family, as you fat like, <laughs> what I don't understand. Uh, how much, how many rich and good, how much rich and good life is your state compared to Anambra? Will be state. Buhari has been president for over seven years. Why is Castina having more poor people than Anambra? Oh yeah, answer. Oh, this one said no, what's that, Jerry? Uh, 